Macam mana cara nak tentukan pola Molekul tu adalah uh, what type of intermolecular forces So first you kena identify molecule tu pola or not If yes, then we have to refer to the molecule Is there any hydrogen directly bonded to the FON? If yes, so it will become hydrogen bond Tapi kalau tak ada FON, dia akan dapat daripada FON forces saja. But if the molecule is non-polar, so it just uh, can form London dispersion forces. So now we already determine that the BCL2 molecule is non-polar. So kalau non-polar tak perlu fikir panjang, mestilah London dispersion forces. Okay, Fatid Idayu. What type of intermolecular force between AlCl3 molecule? Dipole-dipole. So ke dipole-dipole? Setuju tak Wani? Tak setuju. Ha, satunya apa? London dispersion force. Okay London. Nah, dia kita nak ingat kalau dia non-polar dia mesti London. So O3 Engkingling. London dispersion force. Yes, London dispersion forces. Dispersion okay. forces. Nah, kalau non polar tak ya kita panjang mesti London dispersion forces. CHCl3 polar. So bila polar kita kena tentukan dia boleh jadi dua sama ada hydrogen bond ataupun daripada pole. Tengok pula ada tak FON. Sini tak ada pun FON kat sini. So what is the type of intermolecular forces? So Siti No Fatima Ah, uh, dipole dipole force. Yeah, betul. Dipole dipole force. Okay, maksudnya kalau tak ada FON tu dia mesti dipole dipole. Okay, tengok contoh ni. So yang ini ada N, ada F. Tapi dia masih lagi tak cukup syarat sebab F dia mesti attach dengan H, N pun mesti attach dengan H. Ah, uh, but the molecule is polar. What type of intermolecular forces? So, satu tu ni. Fatih Izani. Dipole-dipole forces. Ya yeah, betul. Dipole-dipole forces. Okay. Alright next. H2O. Okay H2O. Polar molecule. Dia ada O. Dan O tu attach dengan H. Can it form hydrogen bond? Uh, Adriana. Dipole-dipole. Uh, betul lah. Eh, dipole-dipole. Dia ada O, lepas tu O tu attach pada H. Hydrogen. Ah, hydrogen bond. Okay, hydrogen bond. Okay. Ah, right. So next, kita tengok dia pula. Uh, PF5. PF5 here, so we have fluorine. However, fluorine here is not attached to hydrogen. Dia attach dengan phosphorus. So, non polar. Ah. What type of intermolecular forces? Nur Siti Fatima. London dispersion forces. Ah betul London. Sebab tadi pergi panjang sebab dia non polar eh. London dispersion forces. Okay. Right next. This one eh. ICL4. So this is polar molecule. Tak ada F, tak ada O, tak ada N. Betul. Ah, this is dipole, dipole. Sebab tak ada FON kat sini. So now IBR3. Dia polar. Dia polar. So polar kena fikir dua. Sama ada ada jembon ataupun daripada epoxus. Tak ada F, tak ada O, tak ada N. Next, Hana. What type of intermolecular forces? Dipole, dipole forces. Ya yeah, betul. Dipole, dipole forces. Okay now. This one eh salah tulis ni. Patutnya ion kan. Kalau ion tak ada lah sebab dia hanya berlaku pada molekul kan. Ion tak ada. So ini kita boleh abaikan. Ini pula. Okay. Ha ni. Uh, IOCl5. So this is polar molecule. Ada O. Tapi O ni dia tak attach pada H. Dia attach pada I. So dia tak cukup syarat. So what type of intermolecular forces? So Fahana Anisha. Dipole-dipole forces. Yes, dipole-dipole forces. Betul. Okay, dipole-dipole forces. Okay, next. Ah, uh, Yang ni pula. BRCL5. Tak ada F, tak ada O, tak ada N. Tapi dia polar. 
Nicola. So, siapa? Fatin Idayu. Diaper Diaper Forces. Yeah, Diaper Diaper Forces. Okay, and the last one, XEF4, Nanpola. Ah, Nanpola kat sini. Okay, one ni. London Dispersion Force. Okay, London Dispersion Force. Okay, betul. Okay, selesai. Alright, next. Uh, ini macam summary chart lah untuk awak tengok. 